Hey guys, this is Holm High Mountain here, and I'm here about to spit some fucking survival facts onto you guys. The reason this video exists is I read the patch 9.0.5 changes, and I saw Survival Hunter got none. And I would prefer if Survival Hunter got one instead of none, or multiple instead of none. Obviously, because I've been playing the spec for five years straight. Please. Please, Blizzard. We're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about survival right now. This is how the spec currently functions in 9.0. We're going to go into no detail here at all, but just know that these are the pros and cons of the spec from somebody who mains it. Pros. Excellent mobility. I have Disengage, Harpoon, Cheetah, Soul Shape, and High Mountain Charge. This is probably the most mobility out of any melee DPS spec in the entire game. Not fact-checking that, I'm just choosing to believe that that's how the game works. Insane AoE potential. Survival Hunter, whether you'd like to believe it or not, probably has the best AoE potential in the entire game. That's because it's not cooldown reliant. It's incredibly short cooldown, about five or six seconds. Um, all of its AoE is front-loaded, meaning you press this button, things get fucking chunked. And then we also have the Corain Soulbind if you're Night Fae, which means that your ability gets 25% crit chance at the start of every pull. This makes you a monster in Mythic Plus, by the way. Uh, you... You heard it from, from me first, I guess, if you haven't been uh, using that. But you should do that. It does a lot of damage. You're not punished very hard for having to do a ranged mechanic. Uh, that's because we have a single melee ability, which can be made ranged every one and a half minutes. Very cool. Excellent. It's a jack-of-all-trades spec. I have leech. I have stuns. I have traps. I have misdirect. I have burst AoE. I have an execute. I have range sometimes. I'm fucking ma like I you do everything. You do everything. Okay? You have a flare, you have a fucking heal, you get to run fast as fuck. Right? You got all this shit. Last but not least, of course, Survival Hunter is just fun to play, man. You this spec is designed so well, it's disappointing to me that nobody plays it. Cuz I'm telling you, most especially you melee players who are playing like fucking rogues and shit, go play a survival hunter. I guarantee you will have more fun. Guaranteed. Cons. <clears throat> this is very clear. Your melee on as a class that has marksmanship, uh that's literally two clicks away, you know? Not going to do that. That was scary. That was close. Uh you have awful single target. Speaking from experience, um when we first started Mythic Raiding with my guild, I genuinely struggled to beat our prop paladin in DPS. It's a lot better now because um, we're progressing on bosses that, uh, that spawn adds. So I'm not that useless. I'm just kind of useless. You have to talent into a lot of things that really feel like they should be made baseline. Alpha Predator gives kill command two charges. Why is that not made baseline? That's our focus regen. Gorilla Tactics. Bomb has two charges. Why is this not baseline? Bomb is literally the best ability in the entire game, and your talent here is making it do more damage too. This is too good. We also have to talent into Binding Shot, which makes us, on paper, just worse than Marksmanship because we lose Post Haste. Post Haste is very good. Uh, Mongoose Bite is here, and we currently don't run it. Very disappointing. And we also have Wildfire Infusion here, which, again, is just cool. And, and here, here's the real takeaway here from, from Talents, okay? Wildfire Infusion and Mongoose Bite add complexity to a spec that would otherwise be lacking it. That's, that's it. That's all you need to know. Otherwise, the spec is maintain dot, focus spend, cast bomb on cooldown. Okay. Yeah, we're just like an easier beast mastery now, I guess. Here's my suggestions. Single target. Mongoose Bite. Make this shit baseline. Just fucking do it already. Holy shit. This is what we want to press. This is the button we all want to press. And we don't get to. It's making me sad. I'm depressed. Uh, another change you could do is you could buff Raptor Strike and tune down Wildfire Bomb. The way I would do this if I was a Blizzard developer, which I'm not, I have no game developer experience, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, by the way. I have no idea if these changes are even possible. Um, remove the 5% aura buff we got a couple weeks ago, and just increase the damage of Raptor Strike by like 25 or 
And we're fine. We're fixed. Good job. And then when we go to Mongoose Bite, it'll feel that much better to press. Last change for single target. And this is just a small nitpick. Um, coordinated Assault isn't interesting. This is just a 20% damage increase. And Kill Command resets. Kill Command resets are cool. Uh, it's definitely important for the spec. But to put this into perspective, there are a couple fights in Raid where I get Power Infusion. And when I get PI, I feel the PI more than, I, more than if I press my cooldown. Like, PI makes my class feel better to play. Whereas Coordinated Assault is press it and forget that I even have it on. You know? It doesn't change anything. It just means like, ooh, my kill command's lighty uppy. I'll press that one more. Uh, on an AoE damage profile. AoE damage is not a downside of Survival Hunter. In fact, AoE damage is fucking broken. Uh, Wildfire Cluster and Corains. It's too good. It's too good. And if you've been abusing Survival Hunter like I have, you know it's too good. Just admit it. It's way too strong. Okay. Here's the healthier alternative. Or actually, let's talk about why this is. Okay. Right now, we have this. This is the AoE talent row. Okay. Wildfire Bomb has two charges, and the initial explosion deals 100% damage. Serpent Sting fires arrows at two additional enemies near your target, and its damage over time is increased by 20%. And Butchery, which is just hit fucking hard, replace shit ability. Okay. Out of all of these things, what sounds the most interesting? You said Gorilla Tactics or Hydra's Bite. Shame on you. Butchery. Butchery is the future. Butchery is the past. Butchery is everything. If you play survival, you want to press Butchery. If you've main survival for a long time, you really want to press fucking Butchery. Because I guarantee, if you're watching this video and you played survival in Legion, do you still get flashbacks of pressing Butchery in Lower Karazhan? Because I do. I still do. Every time I see this ability, I think of that. Okay. And that just goes to show that it's fun to press. This is a good button. This is amazing. But it's on a talent row against the most broken talent in the whole fucking thing. So Butchery will never get used. Unlucky. Better luck next expansion. My suggestion, tactics baseline, remove the 100% damage component, just give us two bombs. It makes sense. It just makes sense. All right, on a legendaries, wildfire cluster. It is way too good for how easy it is to use. Why do I say that? Well, I myself, humble brag, okay? I've got some rank one parses as survival hunter, right? And some mythic raids. And I did it with a fucking AOE legendary on single target bosses. What this goes to show you is that why use a single target legendary that requires a thought process when I can just use my AoE legendary that has no thought and is just basically a flat 5 or 6% damage increase. I don't know. It's, but, but that's the point. It's, I mean, this is too easy. Like, this is, this is, there's no thought involved. You just press the fucking button, you do more damage. Next thing we'll talk about is Rylax Stalkers, which is my single target legendary that... I actually don't use anymore. Uh, I made it rank 4. Raptor Strike has a 15% chance to add a Wildfire Bomb. Why is this one... Why, why do I not like this one? Well, it's RNG. I've had times during Bloodlust and all my cooldowns where I get no, no resets, and I've also had times where I only get resets. And both of these situations feel fucking awful. So, yeah. Let's go back to what it was in BFA where it was just a flat, every time you Raptor Strike, take one second off your bomb. One second. And maybe increase it... Like, actually, I think it was increase the damage of Raptor Strike, and every time you Raptor Strike, reduce the cooldown of bomb by one second. Maybe, in this iteration, Raptor Strike reduces the cooldown of Wildfire Bomb by two seconds. That's cool. And remember, we won't have Cluster with this, so it's not even... It's not even that crazy. Okay. That's my change. Next legendary we'll talk about, Butcher's Bone Fragments. I've sucked Butchery's dick enough in this video, so just understand that you could literally increase this to 100% damage uh, per each stack, and it probably still wouldn't be used. So this needs some changes. Please. 
Please, I want to press butchery. Like, more... I... Okay, Mov moving on, moving on. We're not going to talk about butchery anymore. It's just making me sad. Uh, next, we got nesting where he's trapping apparatus. Whenever a trap is triggered, gain 45 focus and increase all focus gained by 100% for 5 seconds. Why is this on this list? Why do I think I need... Why? 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 Okay. If you take that, you have to run Birds of Prey, which increases the duration of coordinated assault by 1.5 seconds every time you raptor strike your pet's target. This means that we don't have Wildfire Infusion, which is... Like I said earlier, something that adds complexity to a spec that would otherwise be lacking it. And complexity is important. Complexity is good. It's good for every spec to have a little bit. We also, if we take the legendary run Mongoose Bite, but Mongoose Bite is already undertuned, so it just doesn't feel that great. I also think this is a legendary that definitely will feel better the more attention it gets, just because it has use in AoE as well. So if we ever get to run two legendaries, I actually am of the opinion that you'll probably always run Nessing Wares and AoE if we get two legendaries. Because again, just, I mean, think about it, right? Let's say you want to play a latent poison build. You dump all your focus on Serpent Sting. You drop a freezing trap. Kill command once. You have a full focus bar, and then you do it again. And then you tar trap. You kill command, and then you do it again. That just sounds juicy. Right? These are all the legendary changes I would make. Alright? Now we're on to the conclusion, and I'm going to just read this exactly how I wrote it. Assuming this happens to reach anyone's eyes who can actually change things, just know this. Survival Hunter has a very dedicated community who genuinely loves the spec. Speaking from personal experience, grinding Mythic Plus has literally never felt more fun because I feel like I can keep going constantly as I do not rely on cooldowns. However, single target is a very important aspect of the game. Although my burst AoE is strong, or overpowered, I'm almost certain it can probably beat any spec in the game outside of cooldowns. And, but that's not what World of Warcraft is. That isn't how dungeons work, and that isn't how raids work. Boss damage and strong cooldowns are important. Look at any spec that was viable in Castle Nathria. All of them had access to something borderline overpowered in areas that actually matter. Survival Hunter being able to insta-kill adds in Phase 1 of Denathrius, well that doesn't really do much for your raid. So here's the takeaway. You watch through this whole video, this is what you need to, this is what you need to remember. Making any talent that we currently take baseline would be a huge benefit for the spec. Tuning Butcher's Bone Fragments well is probably a healthier alternative to Wildfire Cluster's ease of use, even if Butchery is target capped, which it should not be. You should, rem un you should remove the target cap off Butchery, so better to press. And make Mongoose by baseline. That's it. Uh, that's the video. Uh, I will put the docs in the description, and I might add more to it if I see more ideas, but as of right now, there are no changes for survival, except for Necrolord Covenant does, like, more damage, I think, which isn't a survival change. Um, the spec is really close to being good. It really does not need that many changes to be strong. I think if you implemented literally any of these changes, the spec would benefit greatly. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.